Hello fellow train enthusiasts, welcome back to my series of instructional training videos regarding connecting your Raspberry Pi to a Digitrax system wirelessly. This video will focus primarily on setting up a Raspberry Pi 3 to a Digitrax system while utilizing JMRI. This short quote-unquote picture book video will include all of the steps necessary to get you up and running. Remember, the N-Scale train club that I belong to, the North Texas T-Track, is using this system to run large layouts. Therefore, we will be utilizing a Raspberry Pi 3B, but for those of you that have smaller home layouts, you can use a headless Pi Sprog as briefly mentioned in the step-by-step -step instructions only. Remember, this process is for formatting Steve Todd's Raspberry Pi image of JMRI. This instructional does not pertain to the newbie install of a Raspberry Pi image. The first three word photos of this video are basically everything you need to know from beginning to end for installing a headless Raspberry Pi to your layout while running JMRI wirelessly. These pages will refer you to the photos on this video during the process for reference. The purple video links posted on the first two pages and in the description below will help guide your learning process to complete the setup. Please pause the video at any time to, ask the pic to see the picture references. As previously mentioned in my first video of the series, if you ask a question, please be patient with my response as I do not check my YouTube account often. Let's begin. First, do a Google search by typing Steve Todd Raspberry Pi and click the link that says JMRI Raspberry Pi as access point. This will take you to his home page. Next, scroll down and download the Etcher link that is on his page. This will allow you to write a dot .image file to a micro SD card. Next, to the left, you'll want to download the zip file on his page and place on a regular Windows-based computer. Be aware, this may take a while. Once on your computer, the image will read rpi-jmri.2017-0714 Next, transfer the image file utilizing Etcher to your micro SD card. For connecting the Raspberry Pi, I am using what is in the photo, a USB keyboard, mouse, VGA cable to HDMI via an adapter and a local buffer USB cable. This is a picture of the Raspberry Pi command terminal icon. This photo is what you'll see on your monitor when you are connected to the Raspberry Pi. Follow the instruction pages in the beginning of this video to reference the next step-by-step -step series of Raspberry Pi photos seen here. The instructions will guide you on how to access your Raspberry Pi, how to get updates, changing your Raspberry Pi SSID and WPA password. The SSID is the Wi-Fi name that your Raspberry Pi transmits, just like your home router does. There is also instructions on how to change your internal Raspberry Pi password. Here's the information regarding how to utilize a laptop to access your Raspberry Pi. You will need a network cable to attach.
Here is the LCD screen I purchased to attach to our Raspberry Pi. This is optional. I just like the way it looked. I purchased the LCD screen off of eBay. Completed, here is what it looks like. A Raspberry Pi Sprog can be purchased at dcctrain.com. The link below will take you straight to that page. Again, thank you Alex and Steve for helping me out with this project. The next up and coming set of instructional videos will be an advanced step-by-step -step description of how to build a compact portable command station for use in larger train shows that can run both DC and DCC trains. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next training session.